Yer. What's up, Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers? It's your boy No Name with another Giants video. The Giants versus Cardinals at halftime right now. <clears throat> and the Giants. Whoa, my throat. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> the Giants came out here and they looked like the worst team in the NFL for about the first quarter. You know what I mean? Their defense just wasn't getting anything done. They were uh, getting beat by the same uh, wheel routes over and over again and uh, screen passes over and over again the entire first quarter. They made Chase Edmonds look like the best back in the league. The Cardinals go up 14-0. And I was beginning to think to myself, man, if they, uh, they were on their third offensive drive, I was like, if they score on this drive, it's over, right? But I was thinking touchdown, not necessarily field goal. And when we did force them to take the field goal, I was like, hey, maybe we can do something with this. And the Giants came back. The offense, at least, came back in, in a nice surge there. Daniel Jones, a great pass to Rel Ellison down the seam for a touchdown to make it 14-7. That was set up by a nice 21-yard 20 20 yard run by Saquon Barkley. Barkley, in my opinion, is not being used enough in this game. I think he only has eight carries in this half. Um, Shermer is still doesn't know... You know, he still seems not to know how to use Barkley properly, especially in a game where you're going against one of the worst rushing defenses in the NFL. In general, it's, it's the worst, like one of the worst defenses in the NFL. We shouldn't be behind in this game. Our passing game should be tearing up this Arizona Cardinals defense. And our running game should definitely be tearing through them. But the offensive line, unfortunately, does not look too good. You know, I'm saying right now, pass protection doesn't look too good. They're not getting much of a push in the uh, run game hopefully they can make some adjustments come halftime because we do get the ball to start half and we do have a really good chance of going up 21 to 14 on our first drive coming out of uh, halftime now we should win this game there's no reason we should lose this game we got three extra days of rest we're at home we're going against one of the worst defenses in the nfl our defense is going against a defense that can't score you know red zone percentage scores uh, this cardinals team ranks bottom of the league even though somehow they've already got 17 points. Um, I already mentioned we're at home. It's raining. That's our weather. We play in an open stadium. The Cardinals don't. There's so many things that's going for this team that there is no excuses. Uh, I love the second touchdown we got, which was off a block punt by Michael Thomas, recovered by Elijah Penny in the end zone. Special teams all year has been the brightest spot on this team. Hopefully they can keep that up. They've been really good this game. Obviously, you know, A+. Plus because of that block punt touchdown what am i expecting coming out of this half um adjustments on the offensive line because they've had a couple stupid penalties uh will hernandez has one really bad holding call on a that negated a saquon barkley run i'm trying to see some adjustments there uh they've let up a lot of pressure i want to see receivers actually catching balls evan ingram dropped a huge wide open pass uh down the sideline that could have set us up for another touchdown but we ended up punting at the end of that drive um benny fowler was another one that dropped a really good ball from daniel jones who extended the play he was under pressure he rolled out to the right delivered a really good ball it was a little bit behind him but he got both hands on it he dropped it earlier in the game i think it was golden tape who has since kind of made a comeback in the game earlier in the game he dropped the pass down the sideline also so i want to see these receivers actually make plays uh you're out there for that reason and it, it's really bad weather out there. You have rookie QB he's, who's making some mistakes, but also putting his best effort out. Help him out. You know what I mean? That's all I can say. Just help him out. On the defensive side, hopefully we can get more pressure because towards the uh, end of the half, we were getting to the quarterback more, but we weren't completing on the sacks. You know, Murray is really slippery, really agile. He was getting out of them, hoping to see uh, those sacks being actually completed. And I just want to see the continued good coverage generally has been good coverage they've been beating us in the run game so yeah that's what i got for now hopefully we can win this guys all right so <clears throat> i'm gonna say something i've been saying since like beginning of the season fire pat Shermer. this game is done uh we got the ball back after a great three and out punt from our defense the Cardinals defense comes up and plays, but straight up, we should have ran the ball on first down. We didn't. We tried to pass. Jones got sacked. We should have ran it on second down. We didn't. He comes back. Uh, I think it was like a... Whatever the case is, we eventually got to fourth down. 
I mean third down where he finally runs the ball and Barkley only got like three yards and then Pat Shermer says you know what let me run this uh, run a play on fourth down and Jones gets his fumble Cardinals get the ball back game is basically over there's two minutes and 28 seconds left but fire Pat Shermer I've been saying this for God knows how long he's completely misused all of our skill positions all of our weapons he doesn't know handle how to handle saquon barkley correctly clearly any f flashes that we saw last year were just that flashes and even then last year there wasn't that much and i've been saying this guy hasn't had one good game yet even if we somehow were to come out with a win today it was a terrible game by him he hasn't had one full good game yet and it's because he doesn't know how to use this giants offense how to use the personnel on it he's not fit to be a head coach and you know what he's gonna say in the press conference he's gonna be like oh we did some things good but we definitely gotta clean it up and fix it because that's all he says he's really stale he doesn't handle the press well and he just quite frankly can't pl call plays well he's not gonna be the guy to take us off take us over the hill at any time because we have talent on this team and he misuses it so much that it gets every Giants fan is, is PO'd I don't know man but I've been saying this for weeks now we need to get rid of this dude this was a completely winnable game and it was a must win game it was in our grasp with that last offensive drive there and he ugh, he just called so many terrible plays that that was turned over to the Cardinals man I you can put this on Daniel Jones but I'm not because he's a rookie uh, you could put this on a couple receivers that drop passes for us early on. You could put it on Alex Rosas who missed a big kick. But I'm going to put this on Pat Shermer because he hasn't been a good head coach since he got here. Like when the game officially ends, I'll come back with something, but that's what I got for now. Game is now basically officially over. Jones just took his ninth sack of the day. If you guys watched my preview, I said this. It was going to be a game of inches, not a game where it's going to be a quarterback duel between Jones and Murray. I said it's going to be the Giants O-line versus an underrated Cardinals pass rush. And the Cardinals O-line versus an up-and-coming Giants pass rush. And it turned out that our O-line is just straight trash because, I mean, I don't know what this is, man. This nine sacks allowed. Are you serious? That definitely plays into why we lost, but also Pat Shermer's terrible play calling and then ter terrible game management. I mean, Kyler Murray ran out of bounds on the Cardinals' second-to-last offensive drive, and that basically was like a free timeout for us, and the players mishandled the way uh, that they should have handled that, that, that extra time. We didn't use it properly, and that goes on to coaching and goes on to Pat Shermer. I'm telling you all, this guy really needs to be fired. We're not going anywhere with him. He's just making the team worse. The offensive line seems to get worse and worse every week. The players, they mailed it in after, I think, uh, the first sack on that drive. When it was like 3rd and 24, they mailed it in. The players just gave up, man. I ain't got anything else to say, man. It's such a short video, but what can I say, bro? All, Jesus, so many mistakes by players, right? And it's like, it comes back to the old saying, bad teams make bad mistakes they make stupid mistakes they they win a game in the most convoluted way possible that's what happens to bad teams and i think we need a coaching overhaul i really do you know from pat Shermer all the way down to to whoever his assistant is man because it ain't working out and this was a very winnable game this was a game we should have won i don't know let me know what you all think Leave your comments down below. Do you agree with me on my stance of passion or something I've said for a long time now? Like, share, and please subscribe. I'm out. You're... Alright guys, thanks for watching. Put your comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Until next time, I'm out. You're...